Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about procrastination and how you might handle some of the things you procrastinate about. All right. Okay. Um, we're going to first talk about how easy it is to procrastinate. We know we have to do something or we have it at the top of our list and the phone rings or you get a text message. Oh, oh, somebody answered your Instagram and they started following you. So it's time to see who they are. Or you just want to take a walk because you forgot to exercise. All of those things take up your time. And all of a sudden, what happens? The day is gone. You never got to item number one on your list. So I've learned this from a, a colleague who's a, a life coach. Uh, her name is Lucy Graham, and I believe she got it from someone else, but um, she calls it 20 minutes of misery. And she puts it on her goal list. Well, I didn't know what that meant. And so when we were writing goals together in a workshop, I asked her, what's 20 minutes of misery all about? And she explained that if you have something you really don't wanna do that you've been procrastinating on and you know you, you really don't wanna do it, if you just say that you're going to spend 20 minutes on it, 20 minutes on misery, something you don't wanna do, and then you can stop. Even if it's a five hour job or a five month job, you just do 20 minutes as part of your day or even as your number one task that day. So. I've decided to call my misery items dreaded annoying tasks, DATs, D-A-T. And so now I have on my list of things to do, D-A-T dash, and I put what it is. So for me, I've been putting off mastering some audio files for an audio book for Coping with Crisis, uh, my book for strategies on uh, building inner strength and well-being. And I did all those recordings last summer, 28 of them. And I never did the last work of making sure that they were clean and ready to go on to an audiobook. So I have DAT written on my notes of what I need to do. That number one is to spend 20 minutes on at least finding the files again and doing the first one. Um, so that's my plan. And I wanted to share that with you because I think it's really a great way to stop avoiding and giving yourself just 20 minutes. And I may actually do 10 minutes on different days when I know I'm really busy. I might just do 10 minutes on a DAT, but I'm going to make a date with my DAT and I'm going to do it because that way you can be productive. And at the end of the year, you'll see that all those DATs and DOTs add up to something really wonderful. So um, we will see what happens and let's all do our DATs today so that we can make our goals happen tomorrow. All right. Sounds great. All right.